and welcome to Tanime's Anime Review 16. This week's anime, I think, is really a cut above the rest. It's not amazingly exciting, it's not hopelessly romantic, and it's not side-spitting funny. But it's still something I think is really special. This anime is dedicated to Gato Tail. Thank you, Gato Tail, for introducing me to this one. And today's anime is... Natsumi Yojincho. This translates into Natsumi's Book of Friends. There were two seasons to this series, both running for 13 episodes each. The first season was released on July 7th of 2008 and ended September 29th of 2008. The second season aired on January 5th of 2009 and ended on March 30th of 2009. This anime is about a boy named Natsume. He was born with the ability to see spirits. A power that was inherited from his grandmother Reiko. However, this is not a power that Natsumi is happy to have. He was shunned by society and his family, being called a liar for seeing things that nobody else could see. He hated the spirits because he was the only one that could see them. And he hated humans for shunning him for something he couldn't control. He was an outcast of both worlds and therefore grew up very much alone. Shifted from house to house, he never really made any friends never really having anyone who cared for him. It's so sad! I love you, Natsumi! Upon the death of his grandmother, Reiko, Natsumi inherited a few of her items. Among them was a book called The Book of Friends. What this is, is a book that Reiko wrote the names of spirits that she bullied into servitude. Reiko growing up in a similar manner as Natsume, also being shunned by the world, decided to make her life interesting as she waited for death. And that's why she made the Book of Friends. It sounds nice being called the Book of Friends, but really it was the Book of Servants. <laughs> she could call upon any of the spirits' names that she had in the book to come and serve her. And whoever owns the book, owns the spirits of the names that are in it. And just like humans, there are good spirits and there are bad spirits. <laughs> While Natsume is running away from a rather angry spirit, he stumbles over a spirit barrier, breaking the rope and freeing the spirit being held there. This is a grand spirit called Madara. Madara takes the shape of a Maneki Neko, also known as the Lucky Cat, leading Natsume to nickname him Nyanko Sensei. Here's a picture of what a Maneki Neko looks like if you're wondering. In short, Nyanko Sensei becomes Natsumi's bodyguard. He makes this agreement to protect Natsumi if he's willing to give him the book of friends once he's dead. A human lifespan is like a blink of the eye for a spirit, though Nyanko Sensei is always commenting how he's going to eat Natsumi. Now, Reiko was a mischievous girl and did most things for her own amusement, but there is a deeper part of her that we watch unfold as the series goes on. And sometimes when it seems like she was just bullying the spirit, it turns out she was actually being really nice to it. Kind of like a means to an end. Natsume decides to give the spirit's names back. Yanko sensei isn't exactly happy with this because he himself wants the book of friends for himself, but he's very interested in Natsume. So he lets him do as he pleases and protects him along the way. But also there are a lot of spirits out there who are out to kill Natsume wanting the book of friends for themselves. And that's the basic story! Now let me tell you why I like this anime so much. Like I said before, it's not overly funny, it's not extremely exciting. It's actually the type of anime you could probably jump into the middle of and still really enjoy it. Though I highly recommend starting from the first. After finishing each episode, it just kind of left you with a happy, content feeling. It didn't leave you with that dying need to watch the next episode right away because you have to know what happens next. It just kind of left you happy. Each episode has a way of sharing its emotion with you so beautifully. The animation itself is also extremely beautiful and impressive to watch. I just love this anime! 
it's a casual watch type anime. You can watch one episode and then leave it for a little while, go back, watch another episode, leave it for a little while. And every time you watch another episode, you're filled with that happy feeling. <laughs> it's also the type of anime you can go back and watch again and you'll still get the same feeling every time. And with Natsume being the main character and the primary character along with Nyanko Sensei, it's those two they focus on. All of their characters aren't shown in every episode. Some of them I've never shown more than once. The little fox spirit is my favorite. He's so cute. I'm giving this anime a perfect five stars and a Taname thumb up recommendation. It is the most relaxing anime you will ever see. That being said, the major action anime fans out there probably won't like it as much, but that's not saying there isn't action in this anime, and I still believe that you will like it as well, so please check it out. Also, if you like this anime, you'll probably like other animes such as Mushishi, Spirited Away, and XXXholic. And also, like always, you guys are awesome! Thanks for watching! Jamatane! And now for your random stuff. AMVs are always a great way to start off random stuff. This AMV, I think, shows the beauty of this anime perfectly. It focuses mainly on all the beautiful spirit moments in the anime and less on the evil ones. So check it out. Bink! Next is someone playing one of the songs from the anime on the piano. I'm a huge piano fan, so I really enjoyed this, so I thought you guys might too. You can watch it here. And to prove that this anime does have funny moments in it, here's a clip of a bunch of funny moments put together from the anime. You can watch it here. Bink! And I was actually able to find a lot more interesting things from this anime. So all those links are going to be in the underbar! Underbar! Love you all! Oh, oh, wait! One more thing I wanted to ask you guys. I decided when I first started making these that every 10 episodes I was going to make a bonus video. The first one at episode 10 was the blooper video that I made. So I was wondering what you guys would like to see when episode 20 comes. Maybe a top 5 or top 10 favorite animes? Or favorite male characters or favorite female characters? Or whatever other ideas you guys may have. Let me know in a comment or a video response. Bye guys!